It's time for our movie review of the week with our movie critic. He is Rocco Pasafume. Okay, you ready, Rocco? I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Thank you, you very much, Howie. Uh, this is your movie review for the week. And the movie I've chosen is none other than the most popular movie of the past week, which is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. It's directed by Green, make Dave Green and stars Megan Fox, Stephen Arnell, and Wilner Arnett. The four Green brothers, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, and Raphael, reemerge from the sewers to face their old nemesis, the Shudder, who now teams up with renegade mad scientist Baxter Stockman, played by Tyler Perry, and an interdimensional being known as Krang, as well as two punks who turn into mutants known as Bebop and Rocksteady. If the plot sounds particularly familiar this time around, it's because a lot of this is based on the uh, original uh, cartoon ser series of Ninja Turtles that made the, sh the whole property so popular in the first place. Ninja Turtles has a very long history, but it was particularly the cartoon that made it the huge phenomenon that it became in the uh, late 80s and early 90s. Um, there's been several movies of Ninja Turtles, some better than others. The original movie would probably be the best aspect to this day, the original 1990 movie. There have been a couple sequels that kind of varied in quality. I would say this particular sequel to this new series of movies is probably the best one we've seen in a while. It's an improvement from the first film. Um, it's not so dull and generic, and, and it allows for more expansive, um, you know, widening of the story. And it'll be a treat for fans of the original uh, cartoon from the 80s, because there's a lot that it hits on of, you know, old nostalgia, you know, dealing with, you know, the mutants and dealing with the other uh, villains that people are familiar with from that. As far as the movie itself goes, it hasn't really done too much to really improve the quality of the films because the films are very entertaining, probably now more entertaining than they were the first time around, but it, I, I feel like you know, Michael Bay, who's the producer of these movies, he really does not have a firm grip on what it is that people loved about Ninja Turtles you know, growing up. I mean, he makes the movies competent, but they're also kind of generic, kind of really stupid, and you know, I mean, that might be good for some people. Some people might enjoy this as a bit of a, you know, kind of a dumb, entertaining thrill ride. But for people who are probably looking for a little bit more than that this summer, it's not for the greatest experience in the world. But like I said, it's definitely an improvement over the first one. It's definitely a more worthy um, film entry than maybe some of the Ninja Turtles movies of the past. Probably going back to the uh, original second film, The Secret of the Use, which this... Um, out of the Shadows bears a lot of similarities too. So overall, I give Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows two out of five stars. So thank you very much.